what do they say the uh, show must go on that's how I feel today and as I said in the prior video guys uh, we are still going to be shipping on Frankie's free range meat there are just a few products that will be refunded uh, the caviar the soups the broth as well as the tallow so uh, I'll go into more detail uh, about that stuff later and uh, I'd like to kind of start with some sense of normalcy so we will read some reviews from my lovely customers uh, that put a smile on my face so this first review is for the eggs that we're now selling very good my family and I were very pleased with the eggs visually better than any eggs I can get locally and tastes way better too uh, another review for the eggs amazing I've had local eggs for the last two years however it never occurred to me to check out the feed till I say the video came up and I checked the whole time I was eating vegetarian fed eggs I tried these eggs and they taste amazing. They taste so buttery and rich. It definitely is a few more dollars, but so worth it. Uh, then we have a review for the water kefir. Perfect digestion when I drink this. This is life changing for me. Another review for the water kefir. Frankie boy is tired of winning. This stuff is fantastic. I feel better instantaneously even when I eat a lot of bread and potatoes. I don't feel crappy afterwards like I usually do without this stuff. Uh, then we have a review for the grass fed roast beef. Yummy for my tummy. The best roast beef ever having some for lunch today second review for the roast beef the best this is the best roast beef i've ever tasted it gives you great satiety other brands don't fill me up but frankie's brand does and stops the hunger quickly this is the best roast beef on the planet there is no doubt about it the next review is for the fire roasted ribeye more please the other beef roast is great for me personally i would say this is even better five stars two thumbs up even with the cooked and frozen items there is no lethargy after consuming your products some of the 100% grass-fed store-bought items can't compare. I've tried many. So let's uh, go inside and I'll show you guys what's going on today. So my guys have finished up most of the meat orders pretty early. We got those here. We got some orders for the foods website as well. More meat orders here. And then we have uh, the egg orders that are back in stock, guys. So we'll take a quick look in the fridge first because I did want to show you guys that we do have the eggs back in stock. Uh, right here we have all of the eggs. Uh, my farmer got me some new containers that will probably prevent any breakage whatsoever. Um, these are way more sturdy than the, the cardboard, even though we also had minimal breakage with the cardboard. Uh, back there we have some beef liver that we will cut up this week, so the beef liver is going to be back in stock. Uh, this is actually some banana paste, and uh, I don't think we'll be making the bars, maybe at least until the uh, Department of Agriculture is done harassing us. So we got the salt and steak seasoning guys, of course, flex gross, as well as the whey protein still available. Plenty of pemmican in stock. We have probably a, a few thousand bars of pemmican left to sell. Sorry about the background noise. That's the uh, tape gun my guys are using to tape up the packages and stuff. It's very, very loud. Since we're in the front of the freezer, this is everything that was seized by the USDA. Uh, this is the meat from the Amish farm, which has never been sold on our website, so it doesn't impact our sales. You know, we were supposed to have the hot dogs, the sausages, the highest quality really ever made in this weekend. We have it. We just can't touch it because Frankie Boy doesn't want to get arrested. And then there's some more meat that was seized, and the stuff that Department of Agriculture took is the caviar and our soups. So I'm trying to get in contact with them to sort out this issue. So the beef liver should be ready this week, but what is available now is the beef tendons. Uh, we have way too many beef tendons i think about 1500 pounds so these are about ten dollars a pound which as far as i know is cheaper than anywhere else online and we have plenty of them for you guys so back here i know it's a little dark that's our ground chuck this is the ground lamb and what's also now available which is new is a 95.5 lean blend so very very lean uh a few of you guys requested me for this and we should have the best burger blend back in stock it's going to be different this time uh we have some uh, wagyu beef we're going to uh, grind up and, and make a really, really nice product. I think it's going to be tasty. Uh, we should be able to do that this week. Uh, also, we have marrow bones coming in, a lot of marrow bones this week. Hopefully, I have enough space in this freezer because I think I'm getting like 2,500 pounds of marrow bones, and they're already cut, so uh, we'll see. I, I think that's everything. Uh, we did run out of pork bacon, so I wanted to apologize for that, but I believe we still have the wild boar bacon and the beef bacon available for you guys the hot dog sausages bologna i don't even know what's in there i haven't opened up the boxes but uh <laughs> just sitting there 
hopefully the USDA doesn't destroy it, but if they do, I'm sure it will make for a very entertaining video of them destroying $20,000 worth of my meat. So they also detain this stuff, all the bovine powders that are available on organ supplements. And down here we have all the beef tallows, the rendered fats. And you guys are asking a lot of questions like, uh, why is the stuff getting seized? Is the product USDA? Yes, everything I've ever sold has been USDA. And for those of you guys who don't know what that means, in order for meat to be sold in the United States, it has to be USDA regulated. So they're saying those products weren't, although they were. All the fat used to render the tallow was USDA. All of those bovine powders were inspected by FSIS, uh, which is the customs for USDA as it enters the country. So everything is legit. But now that these people are harassing me and I'm doing legit stuff, I could just start selling stuff through a farm share and labeling stuff in a different way and then they can't say shit. I can sell whatever I want from anywhere, which might be the case because if I spend another dime on USDA meat after the way these cocksuckers treat me, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know why you guys are bringing up how much I pay my workers. First of all, that's none of your business, but uh, I pay them way too much. My payroll is about $4,000 per week just for three guys. So my guys are making good money. That's why they stick with me. They're not going to find another job that's higher paying. Their wages in the mid-20s per hour. But my guys are happy. They support me. And, uh, yeah, I could relocate and hire new staff and save a lot of money. But I don't really care about that. Let, let me actually go upstairs and show you guys what we're probably going to do moving forward. Uh, just to get these government agencies out of my hair. And I do understand that you guys don't want, you know, government bodies regulating your food supply and food sources. So uh, I, don't, I don't think most people are going to mind this type of labeling, but it might uh, cause some issues in the long run uh, with acquiring new customers. If you label a product as a pet food, so we put beef ribeye pet treat and we put not for human consumption. All of this meat is USDA. This is actually organic ribeye. It's the same meat that we have always been selling, but if we label it like this, the USDA as well as the Department of Agriculture have, have no regulation over it. So it's gonna be Frankie's Free Range Dog Food .com, and the product's gonna be labeled like this. For, for me guys, that's, that's the only solution right now uh, to, to get these people out of my business. I just can't, I can't deal with this. You guys that have worked in restaurants know how it is when the health department comes in, like, Everyone stops everything. The chefs stop cooking in the kitchen, bar stops making drinks. You know, when you have these regulatory bodies from the government in your place, their requirements and things that need to be done are so strict, you can't actually make a product. You know, the USDA, just off the top of my head, you know, all the, most of the carcasses are sprayed with these toxic chemicals. It, the meat is just not good for you. It's not natural. Department of Agriculture making you cook meat to certain temperatures that are way overcooked and not good. And, there's a lot of regulation and you know I've been doing this for three years and there's no reason I need to deal with these assholes in my building when I'm not doing anything wrong. Anyway, uh, I haven't really uh, been eating much so I'm kind of fatigued and tired. Uh, I'm going to try to just do a little bit of work today, get all the orders out for you guys this week and um, hopefully I start feeling better pretty quickly and we can sort some stuff out. Uh, I will be making a separate video on Oh, this, this tape gun is so loud, I'm losing my mind. On what we have to do to relocate. So I'll talk about that, I'll give you guys an idea, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hey, I guess this is what I wanted, right? To be on a beach with some Colombian girls? Huh? Guess we're gonna... Guess we'll find out. <laughs>